Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I am getting my brine ready, and I wanted to share you share this with you and uh, let you know how I brine my turkey. And I've got to do it today, and I've got to have time for this brine to cool down. So what I've got in here is about, it looks like about six cups of water. I'm also going to add, um, I've got here, unfiltered apple cider. So um, this is delicious. And I'm going to pour some apple cider in there. Mmm, smells fabulous. I think I'm going to heat up some of this first. I'm going to make some mold cider later, but I'm going to heat up a cup for me. Get off the coffee. So about a half a gallon is what I want of the cider. So you got to have plenty of liquid to be able to submerge the whole bird in. And then you're going to have uh, a cup of kosher salt. Um, you can use sea salt. Um, I wouldn't use, I, well, I don't use really table salt of any kind. I don't like iodized salt. I knew that one was about empty. And I may need a little bit more, but I'll start with this. And then you want a, a, a cup, equal amount, of sugar. Mm. And then what I'm going to do is add a few more flavors. Now you can stop at water, salt, and sugar if you wanted to. Um, I don't, only because... I'd rather have as much flavor infused into this bird as possible. If you've never brined a turkey, I highly suggest it. It is delicious. It will be the most moist bird you can ever put in your mouth. Just fabulous. So I'm also adding, maybe, <laughs> um, some rosemary. Now this rosemary is kind of dried up since it's sat in the fridge, but it dries up. So you have dried rosemary, basically. But uh, it'll rehydrate in this and lend such a great flavor. So I'm not even worried about that. It's one of the nice things about herbs. Dry, they're just as good as fresh. <clears throat> and then what I want to add is some peppercorns. I don't need a whole lot, but a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up over the stove and, boy, I almost forgot, I am putting a whole bulb of garlic. I just cut off the end, leave the root end on, and that's going in there also. <clears throat> so um, orange juice, or orange, garlic, rosemary, uh, allspice, peppercorns, cider, hot spice cider, mmm, yum. Anyway, salt and sugar, and that's a brine. And you could do this with chicken. You could do this with just a turkey breast. You just adjust your amount to how much you have. This will make the meat juicy and moist and delicious. All right, guys. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> the brine is all done, and I've got to chill in it with ice. I filled this pot with ice, and it's really nice and cold. So I'm going <coughs> to fill my brining bag, and it's going to go in this roasting pan. It'll, give it, it'll make it a little easier <coughs> to put in the refrigerator with a 17.82 pound turkey, plus this much brine. It'll be pretty heavy. So in the past, we've actually put, um, put them in the cooler, and just going to start getting some of this out of here. Anyway, so you can put them in a cooler and surround them with ice. Um, but I think this will work on the fridge in the garage overnight. And the whole thing's going in here. It's going to steady this and just become delicious. And I'll actually probably put a little bit more ice in here. So that's why if it's 
look like the brine was a little bit too concentrated in the beginning, that's why. Because you are going to water it down. Oh, and I'm making a huge mess. These big giant brining bags are bad. Oh, and I did make a mess. Oh, of course. It's mostly in the pot though, thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay. So <laughs> when we Thanksgiving is for making a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna have some of the spices here. There we go. Make sure that okay. Now all we have to do is put the turkey in there. So I'm gonna get the turkey all washed up and put her in there and we'll show you what we got. Alright you guys, this is the turkey in the brining bag, in the brine. And um, took a little bit of finagling it around. Uh, we put it breast side down so we get nice moist turkey breast. Anyway, so that's how I brine my turkey. This is going in the garage refrigerator until tomorrow. Hope this helps. I hope it inspires you to try something new. If you haven't tried this before, try brining.